Our Bible chapter 8 talks about <clears throat> Bildad speaks, and Job should repent. Then Bildad the Shuhai answered and said, How long will you say these things, and the words of your mouth be a great wind? Does God pervert justice, or does the Almighty pervert the right? If your children have sinned against him, he has delivered them into the, hand, into the hand of their transgression, or their sin. If you will seek God and plead with the Almighty for mercy, if you are, if you are pure and upright, surely then he will rouse himself for you and restore your rightful habitation. And though your beginning was small, your latter days will be very great. For inquire pleas of bygone ages, and, and consider what the fathers have searched out. For we are above yesterday and know nothing. For our days on earth are a shadow. I mean, you know, I mean, your life is just very short. Will they not teach you and tell you and utter words out of their understanding? Can papyrus, or paper really, grow, grow where there is no marsh? Can reeds forest where there is no water? While yet unflowered and not cut down. They wither before any, any other plant. Such are the paths of all who forget in God. The hope of the godless shall perish. And he some out those who uh, forget God they continue in their sin, they don't repent. They shall per they shall perish in the fires of hell. His confidence is severed, and his trust is a spotter's world. Meaning that um you know someone who's wicked who's in their sin. You know, they have no confidence pretty much and um, their trust is like a spider web, you can't really trust them. It's like a web it's like a web of lies. He leans against his house but it does not stand. He lays hold of it but it does not endure. He is a lush plant before the sun, and his shoots spread over his garden. His roots entwine the stone heap. He looks upon a house of stones. If he is destroyed from this place, then it will deny him, saying, I have I have never seen you. You've got 18. If he is destroyed from this place, then I would deny him, saying, I have never seen you. It's kind of like to the Gospels. Jesus talks about, um, you know, true and false Christians. You know, he's mainly talking about the false Christians. He's talking about not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. All in those who do, all in the, all in those who do, who do the Father's will, or who, or who only does God's will. You know, Jesus is saying, you know, if you do, if you be, be, basically what Christ is saying is, not everyone who says they're Christians are going to heaven, which we know that. And he goes on saying though, but only those who do the who, who do the Father's will, meaning that, you know, it seems like you know what, what Christ is saying is that if you don't do the Father's will, you're not going to go to heaven because 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 uh, you know if you're not saved, first of all. You don't do the, you're not going to do the Father's will because you don't because you don't care about God because 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 you continue in your sin and you don't repent. But um, if you love God and God truly has saved you and you're repenting of your sins, then you will do where then you will do whatever you can to do His will because you love Him and He loves you back. Um, let's see where I left off at. Um, yeah, you know. It, and, when, and Jesus says, you know, that those who who, who uh, call themselves Christians but don't repent of their sins, He says, you know, that that He that uh, He will say to them, "Depart from Me, for I never knew you." And they'll be thrown into the fires of hell because they never repented of their sins. Um, they thought they were saved just because they went to church, just because they, they went through the you know the the usual stuff. They went, they went to church. They said they sung some songs. They said a little prayer when they were little. They all have to think they're saved and they're not. I mean, that's just that's not salvation at all. It's uh, it's false, man. I mean, it's uh, false security. I mean, just 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 saying a little prayer does not save you from hell. And these free will preachers, man, they believe that crap. And it's what and that 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 uh free will, the ABCs, is the most damnable prayer I've ever seen. And all it does is give someone a false assurance that they're saved, and they're not saved. Because a little prayer does not save you from hell. Only, only through Christ, only God saves you from from hell by God choosing out of His love, out of His compassion, out of His grace to save you, to convict you of your sins, and lead you to Him and lead you to repentance. That's salvation. You know, that's what I'm saying. There's many Christians out there that's gonna ask it. I mean, many, 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 many out there. 
majority of Christians are going to hell because they think they're sick. They said a little prayer when they when they were little. Um, you know, they, they think they go to church. You know, that that's going to save them more. They go to see some song. Yeah, you know, that's not salvation. It's crap, pretty much. But um, you know, I don't want your sins if God chooses that but to save you and, he, and then convince you your sins and you repent and look around. That's salvation. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, 18 is actually, in a way, refers to what Christ says, you know, depart from me, depart from me, for I never knew you, you know, come on, those who are not saved. And 18 says, you know, then it will deny him, saying, I have, I, I have never seen you. So it kind of, it's kind of relating to Christ there, in a way. Behold, this is the joy of his way, and out of the soil others will spring. Behold, God will not reject a blameless man, nor take the hand of evildoers. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouting. Those who hate you will be clothed with shame, and the tent of the wicked will be no will be no more. So eight um, is about Bildad speaks. You know, Job should repent of, of what he's doing, pretty much. Um, and later on, Job does whenever God confronts him about you know what he's doing. This chapter eight and chapter nine will be notes.